Next up here in the Berkshire offering is 69-11. <clears throat> this is another rooster, and as I just mentioned, she's a rooster Van Halen OTL 318-8. Uh, so the grandma here is a litter mate to the grandma of the last one. Uh, the mother of this one is actually offered in the south section as lot 63. Uh, this gilt in particular is a litter mate to uh, the reserve Berkshire at San Antonio, Berkshire Barrow that the Cliff family showed. Um, you know, this one really par for the course on these purebreds. They, they, don't, they don't transition the best uh, from the slat barn to the, to the hill. Uh, this one needs some feed, and I think by sale day you'll be pretty impressed with this one. Uh, but from a female standpoint, there's a lot to like here in the 69. Yeah, and for a second, just think about it um, for just a, a brief moment on how hard it is for purebred Berkshire Barras um, to be competitive in Texas and Oklahoma. Um, and to be one of the two champions there selected in that breed is, is, is truly a testament to the quality, um, especially if you're purebred. And I mean, like I said, this one's brother um, was reserved there for the Cliff family at San Antonio. Um, and has a lot of the same characteristics as his sister here in terms of her look up front, her range of motion, her, her just athleticism and comfort level um, is very, very good. Um, and in this breed, um, if you've got one that's got those hard to do intangibles like that, you're usually sitting in the driver's seat. Uh, um, just get her bread, her color's great. Just sit back and enjoy the ride because this one looks like she can contribute very quickly. I agree, and I think she really underscores just how, how good and, and how high quality the rooster females are. Uh, they're a big reason why we, we've got a lot of faith in Hen House as well. Uh, a lot to like here. This is 6911. She's a rooster, Van Halen, and she sells as lot 231.